Hey guys, welcome back to Let It Roll. Today I got a strategy by a friend of mine, a fellow YouTuber named Mel. His channel is named Craps Hawaii, and I'm going to put a link to it in the description below. You guys definitely need to check out this channel. This guy has tons of wisdom on craps, and he has some really, really good strategies. I actually asked him if I could use this strategy. He didn't offer it to me. It was something that I really liked, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to try this out on my channel. I'm going to put a little twist on it, though. He usually does his strategies from other shooters, so you don't place a pass or a don't pass, but I'm going to place the don't pass. You know me. I want to see how this strategy works out because I definitely will consider using this at the casino. So let's take a look. Okay, guys, as my buddy Drew says, let's get down to business. So if you look at this strategy here, we've got $76 on the inside. We've got four units on the five, three units on the six and eight, four units on the nine. So what we're going to do here is we're trying to get three hits. Mel talks about you getting your staying alive money back. Now, before this strategy that I, I was going to show you here, I actually took that from him. I took his advice because I've watched his channel for a long time. And that was one thing I took from it along with some strategies that I really, really liked. You want to make sure that you try and get some money back before you start pressing. Otherwise, you're just going to keep pressing yourself and you know the most common number, the seven is coming. So you want to try and get your staying alive money back first. So what we're going to do with this strategy is get three hits before we start pressing. So let's say that the five hits. All right. We're going to get paid twenty eight dollars. All right. I'm not going to just I'm not going to actually rack these. because I don't have enough chips here, but you would win twenty eight dollars for that. All right. Now, let's say that the nine hits, you're going to win another twenty eight dollars. And so let's say that the eight hits next, you're going to win twenty one dollars. So you'll have a stack of twenty eight, twenty eight and twenty one that you have as far as as the amounts go that you've already collected on. Okay, once you have those, then you can start pressing. So let's look at the press part of this. All right, so you got your staying alive money back. Now what you're going to do is, let's say that the five hits. Okay, so you're going to make that $28. And you're going to start your power press. So you're going to throw the dealer another $2, which makes $30. Okay. Okay. And with this $30 that they now have, you're going to have them press up your five and your nine to 35 each. So it will look like this now. Okay. Now, once you get another hit, what you're going to do now is you're going to press up your six and your eight to $30 each. So let's say that we actually hit the five. Okay. So you've got seven units here. So you're going to make $49 on that hit. Okay. So okay. So with this $49, you're going to have them press up your six and your eight to $30 each. Should have got another quarter chip. Could do that real quick. All right. So from here, this is where it's going to depend on you. Just like every strategy I show, most people will take what they like from the strategy and then they'll make their own adjustments based on what they feel comfortable with at the table. So he actually talks about more pressing here, but I want you guys to go to his channel and watch it and understand where he's coming from. He has a ton of wisdom on how to press. But what I'm saying here, so I can make the video a little bit shorter, is from this point on, you could decide how you want to press it. Okay, you could collect and press, you could tower one number, whatever it is you want to do. But this is the point right here that we want to get to in this strategy. Okay, now the one twist I'm going to add is I'm going to throw a $30 don't pass for that come out roll. Okay. So I'm going to play a $30 don't there again. That's not Mel's strategy, but that's the one thing that I'm going to take and I'm going to adjust to fit my comfort level of how I play. 
So that's why I said I need you guys to go over to his channel. Make sure you subscribe and check out this video so you can hear his thought process behind what it is that he does with this 76 inside. All right, guys, let's go ahead and see how the dice do. All right, guys, I'm starting with a thousand dollar bankroll. So let's see how the dice roll for us today. We we'll start with $30 on the don't pass. And we'll see how it goes here. <clears throat> here we go. Okay, come out rolls a six. So we'll put up our point. I've got 10 hands here. So we'll see if, if I'm throwing good and it's taking too long, we won't play through all 10. But just in case the dice aren't being nice to us, <clears throat> it'll give me enough time to last on the video. Okay, so we got our 66 set up. So we're looking for three hits before we make our first two presses. So here we go. That is an eight, so that's our first hit. Okay, and what I'm gonna do too is every money that I make, I'm gonna actually put in my back rack. Okay, so that's $21. This is kind of what I do at the casino also to give me keep track of, of uh, where I'm at as far as the strategy goes, because I normally play a 22, a 44, or a 66 inside. And I take four hits before I start towering a number or pressing numbers. So this will tell me I've got one hit on this particular strategy. Now we need three hits, according to Mel, before we start pressing here. So this right here shows that I got one hit. And this would represent the casino's racks. So I separate my hits at the casino so no, I know when it's time to press. So I know I've got one hit on this particular hand. Okay, now I know I got two hits because that's a five, four, nine. Okay, we get $28 on that. And remember, this is our staying alive money, as Mel says. We want to make sure that we stay alive instead of pressing. And some people, there again, none of it is right or wrong because some people say, well, you could have pressed that and made more money, of course. But we never know what the dice is going to do. So all strategies and what you choose to do is never right or wrong. We just feel, because I'm, I'm on Mel's board here, I, I feel that I want to try and get three hits before I, well, actually, I take four hits before I start pressing. So it's up to you. If you want to start pressing right away, but I'm just showing you the strategy, then you wouldn't be doing this strategy. Okay, so that's the second hit. So we're, we're really starting to stay alive now. Okay, five, five fever. Okay, so that's the third hit right there. So this next hit we're gonna press. So we make another $28. And if you look at my rack here, that's three hits. So now I already know that I'm gonna press the next one. Okay, so now that I know I've made my three hits, I can also adjust my rack. You can do it anywhere. I don't have much room here, so you just figure out a spot in the casino. If, if this is something that, that interests you to kind of manage your money. Okay, and that's an eight. All right, so with that, in order to press up our five and nine, we need to have $30 to press it up. And we only made 21 here. 
So there again, this is where you can make the, the call if you want to press or not. He didn't show a press on a 21. He showed it on a 28 and gave $2. But it's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and press it since we're trying to make some money too. So I'm going to win 21. And I'm going to go ahead and throw them um, $9. Okay, so I'm going to take this back. And that right there would put us to $30 on each of the five and nine. So we, we completed our first goal with this strategy. All right, let's keep on trucking, baby. Seven out. All right, so we ended up not actually getting gaining all of our money back because I gave some of it back before I hit again. But with this don't pass, that kind of helped us out. Okay, so I'm going to take this and put this in my back rack back here. Okay, I'm going to leave my don't for the next hand. Clear off the board and we're ready to roll. Okay, we're going to work on our second hand. Okay, here we go. Come out, roll. Seven out. That's when the don't pass is not good. It worked out for me on the last hand, but not on this hand. So I guess I'm zeroed out right now from that. And remember, he plays this when other people are shooting, so he doesn't use a pass or a don't pass. But again, like I said, that's a 5415. Make sure you guys go to his channel. Make sure you subscribe because he has excellent content. And, and make sure you take a look at this particular strategy. I'm going to put a link to this strategy down below um, so you can see his philosophy behind it, not mine. I just liked it and I put a little bit of my twist to it. Oops, I had forgot to put my don't pass out, guys. Sorry, you knew I was going to play that. So I want to show the strategy the way it should be played for me, the way I would play it. Okay, seven out. So that helped me a little bit, just having that extra $30 hedge. Because that's, that's not good. Them .7 outs can crush you. So this would come to me, and this would go to the house. this in the back rack. Oops, we'll leave that up. Point sevens are no fun, guys. Stop doing them. <laughs> I've done my fair share in the casino. If you start watching my live videos, you'll see. Ten is the point. Okay, let's see. This is our third hand. Let's rock and roll. What I'll usually do if a 10 or a 4 is the point when I'm covering the inside and I have a don't, is I'll actually throw a couple dollars on the hard 10. So it'll kind of hedge that don't pass. So I'd win 14, lose 30, so it's not such a big loss. But maybe if I hit that hard 10, you know, instead of the 6-4, there's the hard 10. That's a perfect example right there. Isn't that funny? I was just talking about it. So puck comes off. I get paid 14 over here. I'm just going to take 15 for one. And I lose this don't. And we got another come out. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Six three nine is the point. Okay, let's see how we do. I'm gonna go ahead and take down my hard ten. I don't need that up there. Four one five. All right, so that's staying alive money right there. We're gonna collect that. 
That's a $28 collection. That is a 516. Stay alive, baby. Give me that money. $21. It's our second hit. Four one five. That is our third hit. That's a twenty eight dollar payment. Okay, it's time to press, guys. Time to press. Let's see if we can get to the second press and then hit some numbers. Ten doesn't help us. Doesn't hurt us. Six four ten. That is a three craps. Doesn't help us, doesn't hurt us. Here, let's hit an inside number, dang it. There it is. It's a 617, that was too far inside. All right, that one right there did this hand in. So let's see, we get $30 for the don't pass. And let's just go ahead and count it up. You guys get the idea of what this strategy is about. It's a very good strategy. Um, I definitely will use it in the casinos myself. So, all right, let's count up what we got here. I started with $1,000. Um, so this would be, let's see. Well, here we've got one, two, three, three bays empty and 76 dollars so there's 75 76 so that would cover that one here's 100 here so minus 25 that would be 75 here's 76 for this one and then let's see minus 25 from this so that's 75 so here's 76 for this one okay so this is $760. I started with a thousand. So here's 860. Um, here's 25. So 50. So that's 910. 920. 925. 950. 60. 65 71 all right guys so 71 dollars what does that make us down 29 dollars so we're down 29 dollars right now with this strategy but you can see the whole purpose of this is trying to stay alive if i would have been pressing that first hand would have been pretty good but i think we would have went further backwards if i never collected on any of the other hands because they weren't very long rolls but anyways, again, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Make sure you go over to Mel's channel, Craps Hawaii. Subscribe to him. I'm putting the link to this particular strategy because you need to hear it from him. I put my twist on it. So, all right, guys, we'll see you guys next time. You guys take care.